Oh, no, it's just uh, wanted to give you guys a, a quick video. Obviously, a, a great result for you guys um, and, and a solid performance. Um, there's a lot of positive in the clips I'm going to show you. And, and sometimes we think it's important to catch you guys being good and, and make sure we show you, you, you know, what type of success there is when you're you know, performing a, at a good level. Um, take a couple of a look at a couple other clips as well. Um, just to make sure, it, you know, we're all on the same page as we move on to this weekend's big game. So um, first is just going to take a look at our build up and our regain mentality. And, it, you know, you guys have continue to improve on, you know, big shape and moving the ball. Um, you know, certainly there's always pockets and, and situations where, you know, we can make things happen by switching the point of attack. So and, and this is one of those situations here. So it's initially a very good build up. The regain from Eliza and, and Maya here is fantastic, um, where you guys are getting after the ball. And, and then again, we, we still have clear possession of the ball. But the key here would be once you see that, oops, let me back up. Once you see that we have the ball in this situation here with Eliza, you know, notice how they have nobody here and Kathy can take the ball into this area here where there's open space with Kira and maybe Emily checking back, um, which we'll get to in a second. So, you know, maybe that's a, a better option, but the regain mentality here is really good and, and getting after it, opening up again and then looking to find some space um, to play the ball. It's a good ball from G out wide here. You know, and this is the moment where you can see that you have them in a back four. Um, you know, their shape is pretty straightforward. Um, and even though we get some success here, this might be a moment where, you know, maybe we can check back and then run into that space as, as we've been talking about. Or is it an opportunity where we can switch the point of attack through Maya and then Christina can get the ball after she runs forward. Again, I'm two steps ahead of where we, you know, might want to be, you know, in a year's time, but it's really important that we at least see, you know, some different options, um, you know, because as you can see, Emily gets the ball here and that's fine. Um, but was there ever a threat to go into the goal? And, and again, she gets it back and we get in and, you know, I think we get a corner, um, a corner out of the scenario. So again, not a terrible thing, but important for us to, you know, see the different options. Good regain mentality again here for Mia, getting after it, and then again, just want to highlight for you guys. You know, good things happen when you know we get numbers around the ball and we put them under a lot of pressure. Um, pretty good shape here and you'll see in a clip that I'm going to that we'll do in a few uh, in a minute or so you could see that there's a pretty good shape you know from a, a, a length perspective um, or a vertical perspective horizontally we're okay maybe Kira if that's you maybe you could tuck in a little bit more you know maybe our center backs could slide over and our outside back could slide over just to cut this field you know, take 20 yards away on the opposite side, but still very good. We've got numbers around the ball. Lisa does a good job to, to get after it um, and then to clear the danger. You know, good second, third efforts. <clears throat> Here's a, a situation where, yes, it, it, it'd be great if Maddie can deliver this ball in between the gate or over this player's hair head, <laughs> um, but also the situation where she could even play it out here um, to Maya, just in, in, and again, all we want you to think about is there's four or five white shirts here, three white shirts right there. So that's eight in the keepers, nine players that you know we're trying to get through, and we could probably solve it in a in a different way. Uh, but again, great regain mentality, still working hard to get after good ball security here. I know we talked about that last week or two weeks ago. Good ball security. You can see where all of their defenders are in this area here. And so Maya does an excellent job of getting wide in a 1v1 scenario. And you can see, it again, that it creates good opportunities. So, you know, we know Christian and Bobby and I and, and, and Jack and Eric, we're always talking about get wide, get wide. So that's a great example of it um, there. Good build up from one side. So again, look at all the white jerseys in this area right here. And it's just good recognition there from Rafi to switch the point, play a center back. You know, can we stretch them out a little bit here? Um, and, and again, where is the space that we want to find is the question you want to ask yourself when you're looking at all these white shirts. 
on this side, then the ultimate goal should be to get the ball over on this side of the field when possible. And you'll see that in this clip right here, switching the point of attack. So initially, yes, around our back line, that's fantastic. You know, now the next piece is how do we get the ball into an area with Mia right here? And then all she's really doing is clipping the ball into Christina. Maya checks into that area and then we have free space. So that's one option there. Um, doesn't happen and that's okay. So now as Kira and Emily are going in 2v4, you can see this 2v4 right there. You know, when, when the ball comes out, comes back out, you know, again, take a look at all the white shirts. And where's an option? You know, this is probably a tough one there because there's a forward right there. But now can we get the ball into this player, to Mia there, and get Christina and Maya out wider, um, creating space? Doesn't happen there. So that's another opportunity in, in the clip, um, in the same clip, um, or the same possession, I should say. So again, now they clear the danger again, or they try to clear the danger. I think Mia gets on the ball here. And again, this is another situation. Remember how many players they've got in this area right here, taking control of that whole quadrant of the half. And we've got to maybe look to get it out of there and get it to another spot. You know, whether it's through center backs, you know, whether it's, you know, Christina nice and wide, maybe Maya nice and wide, and we get the ball here and we start to get get it out wide and play two V1s, three V2s, as opposed to, you know, six versus, you know, nine or ten. And again, e even though we didn't, it didn't, we still were able to create something even though we didn't, you know, switch the point of attack. And then, so it's, again, a reminder that we're not saying you have to do these things. We're just trying to give you some options and ideas um, on how to, uh, on what type of uh, attacking to do. So forward movement here, again, very good buildup as we've talked about it, as you did most of the match. And then it's this situation right here. And, and again, just want you to take a look at their defensive situation where they got a, a block of four and two defending the area. So the question or the key is, is how are we gonna unbalance them? How are we gonna make them get out of this back shape? So, you know, maybe it's a midfielder coming away, you know, and, and take it, bringing a defender. And if the defender doesn't come, then it's to Mia, then it's to that midfielder. You know, maybe it's a check here, maybe it's a run into space. So again, there's lots of options that the forwards can do here. You know, once Kira maybe makes a run in and Emily checks, you know, now maybe it's Maddie running in behind. Again, lots of different options, but, you know, as we're as G is carrying the ball, she, you can see she's just carrying the ball into seven white jerseys and looking for options. And again, you know, we're able to get it. But against a, a stingier back line, you know, we may not get that ball, you know, on, um, on G's for on G's pass. So just want you to take a look at the shape and, and our transition to defend. So they have the ball. You know, we're in, we're, we're, it's a goal kick. So what I want you guys to pay attention to is where our forward is and then how far back our center back is. So, you know, we're talking 10, 20, 30, 45, 50 yards of space. And what the, the area that I want you to pay attention to is, are we defending the central channel of the field um, or are we defending players that are, you know, in 1v1 situations here? So again, collectively, we've got to make sure that we're working back in, you know, back pressing, working here, because all it's going to take for them is you can see this open space in the middle of the field. If we're not here, here, you know, and, and defending in that middle area, you know, at some point they could get fortunate enough to find this open player. Now, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, it doesn't happen where they score a goal or, or they don't create an amazing opportunity but you can see what it looks like when they do get this pass you know how many gates do they have to be able to play through and put us under a lot of pressure you know in this situation so now it all it takes is a 1v1 uh, race um, for the player to be able to play in behind because you can see what our back four looks like and if you go back a little bit you can see before she even gets the ball, you can see our center forward or one of our forwards there. 
and you can see our center back all the way back there. And that's just a lot of space to be able to give an opponent, um, regardless of which opponent it is. So again, thinking about that and how do we transition to defend in that moment? And, and again, I'll give you the solution is to make sure that we're very much a collective body, you know, in this 30 to 40 yard space that we're a collective body within our shape. And so we get the ball, but again, now you can start to see the back line doesn't get up fast enough um, on the loss of possession, not just on that one, but on this one. And now again, you can see the gap that Mia has to deal with all by herself. And it's a 3v1 against her there. So again, that it's the same clip. It's the same possession. So uh, we did not get together collectively to be able to defend this well enough. And, and again, against a, a, an opponent with more attacking threats, we really have to be you know, switched on to it. Again, you can see our highest forward, our highest player, and our deepest defender right there all the way there so again it's really just focusing on and, and again I, I i'll even draw it up for you you know the ball gets played that should be our two forwards this should be our midfield four and then this should be our back four defending them like this instead of you know how spread out we are so again i know it's a lot of animations but it's really important because you can see the numbers that they have now they can just easily break a line here and it could potentially be a 3v2 4v2 4v3 and it doesn't amount to anything for them and Catherine does a great job to clear the danger but again very important that we think about our collective shape as a team you know when the other team when the opponent gets the ball so i just wanted to highlight the short corner um not the short corner play but the fact that when you see a player leave this area, I think that's Emily, when a player, or might be Emily, when a player leaves this area, I just want you to watch how that player comes with her. And then this space right here is vacated by that player and it allows a better delivery in and we're able to get more numbers on the ball to score a goal. So again, we'll show it one more time actually, and then you can rewind it. But again, just from that movement alone, she brings a player with her and it's able to free up the space in the six so you know really we're happy i'm happy about that for you guys but also a great result and you're know, going to be really important to think about a couple of these things as we get into the armor matches this weekend so any questions don't hesitate to ask um see you soon